Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. Indoor seed starting is fun, easy, and economical. Now's the time to start your seeds. If you're looking to grow vegetable variety or add a punch of color to your flower garden, review the Stoke Seeds Starting Guide online. You'll find information about soil preparation, moisture, temperature, light, transplanting, and more. The Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. Now, today's question. Uh, we do uh, encourage your emails, your email questions to fred at planttalkradio.com. And we have one this week, and uh, this is a, a good one, Fred. It's kind of interesting. It comes from Mark, and he says that I have a question about a small Japanese maple. I've had it for about two years, and I'm most likely going to be moving in July, and I'd like to take the tree with me. And basically what he's wondering is, should he uproot it and put it in a pot now, or should he just wait until July? And he says... He's thinking maybe the pot would be better instead of just uprooting it in the middle of summer. Well, he's definitely right. Um, but I, I'm going to set up some some specifics for him. Uh, I, I think if he moves in July, even though some trees have, uh, let's just say, finished their growth and uh, perhaps, shall we say, paid themselves back by collecting light, remaking and restoring the the energy and so on but that's that's pushing it quite a bit if it were august late august i'd tell him to wait and do it then but let's go the other way around i think you said it's two years in place yeah okay uh if that is the case uh it, the tree won't have rooted out very wide now it is inevitable there will be some root disruption, even on a young tree and one that's not so very big. But I would recommend that he get, uh, well, let's just say the largest container he can, uh, even to the extent of up into several gallons, and put, well, dig the tree, stay out. Well, it's hard to judge for sure, but stay out at least 12 to 15 inches of per, of the um, radius of a circle so that you can get enough root ball. Don't go too far beyond because if there's not enough root in the soil, the ball will kind of fall apart. Now, you're going to be lifting natural soil. Natural soil doesn't belong in containers. It's too dense. It packs down. Water doesn't move through it right, etc. So get a couple bags of potting material or uh, something of that nature that is made up of a lot of organics and then some physical breakups, uh, little little chips of things and so on, and put the plant on a bed of two or three inches of soil, in of the potting soil, in the bottom of the container. Even to the extent, if you wanted to put some gravel in, maybe one inch at the very most, then put some cheesecloth doubled up or tripled up or or burlap or whatever on the top of that gravel so that there's a water way out at the bottom of the container. The container should have, well, a minimum of three exit holes, if not five or more. Now, set the plant in on top of that. Then fill in around the sides with the potting material. Uh, don't press down too hard. You don't want to cause patty cakes of, of mud and so on. And yet you don't want a, a dense soil because I, even though I know better, I have killed a few things by thinking, well, I'll get this taken care of only next weekend until I put it and then I forget it or what have you. And a month later, the soil has held so much water in the container that it's just simply, uh, well, done. Now, um, I would do it soon. There's no reason to hurry this afternoon yet, so to speak, but I would get it done pretty soon. Uh, go down, and, and again, without seeing it, it's hard to tell. But try to get as much as 12 inches deep. The chances are, on a tree of that age and size, there won't be much, if any, root below that point. Matter of fact, probably the top 8 inches. But it won't hurt to pick up a little extra soil in depth. Try to take it out intact as best you can. Put it in, and then when you put in the potting soil around the edges and underneath, it will settle as you water. So keep a little extra in the bag uh, as the as the potting soil settles, and don't 
punch it down real hard. Just let it settle, then put in some more on top, and then uh, treat the plant as you would any other containerized plant during this period between now and July. And at July, grab both sides of the bucket and off you go. Uh, the only thing I would say, don't take it to wherever you're going in an open truck at 60 miles an hour. That That's that's hurricane speed for, for wind, and trees don't like that. It doesn't matter what kind of tree. So I, I would wish him well. I think now, soon, is the time to get it done. And um, about the only other thing I can recommend is if it's possible to set the plant where it will get morning sun, and then shade in the afternoon, probably the best holding place for the tree. And from there, cross your fingers and go for it. Thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, lose the winter blues and garden indoors. Start your indoor seating with the help of Stokes Gardening Guide, plus their online articles. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokeseeds.com. Catalogs are still available. Cultivating successful growers for generations.